My name is Chidebiro Boye. So today I'll be taking you through all the process of cryptocurrency and um, the foundation okay, of cryptocurrency and how you could know the terminology, the terms, the all the terms, all the acronyms okay, that um, cryptocurrencies represent. In case you see them anywhere, you could be able to identify them and that is why this course is very, very important. Now let's just dive through the class. And this is um, Cryptocurrency Academy. Okay, it's your time to make um, money. Okay, the Beginner's Guide to Cryptocurrency by Chidebiri Woi. Let's move to the next slide. Okay, these are the course outline. The course outline. Um, introduction to cryptocurrencies, crypto terminologies and their meaning, opportunities within crypto space, how to earn, crypto analysis trading requirements, tools slash apps that you need, okay, for trading, crypto wallet, sending and receiving, crypto assets, and crypto signals. These are um, the things that I do, um, the signals that I give even in my, in my group. We'll be talking about all of these as we progress. So next slide. Now let's go to the introduction. Now this course is designed for you to learn about um, cryptocurrencies, blockchain, and the Juicy opportunities lined upon, um, lined up within the space, and I have made it easy for you to understand. Okay, if you consider what people are saying about BTC, blockchain, and crypto space, I bet you wouldn't want to go there at all. Like <laughs> you wouldn't, you would not want to hear anything about cryptocurrency because of the the things people are saying about it, guys. Uh, no. Are not true. Now, um, just as in the case of the internet, which was something that we didn't understand for the most part when it launched, we didn't really understand what we are going to do with it. For those of us that we are already giving pet to them, okay, you know, a lot of people don't know much about the internet then in the in the in the uh, ages age past okay but now look at what the internet is doing so that is how it is also to cryptocurrencies like when we were introduced to cryptocurrency a lot of people did not embrace it those, those that were privy to know about it then they were thinking is something that is not serious just like the internet okay but today it is something that you, we can't do without so that is why we must understand cryptocurrency and dive into it because this is where the future is. This is where the future is going. It has come to stay and it is not going again. Let's go to the next slide. Introduction to crypto. What is cryptocurrency? A cryptocurrency or crypto is a decentralized digital currency that can be used to buy goods and services and uses an online ledger with strong, crypto, with strong cryptography to secure online transactions. However, much of the interest in these currencies is to trade for profit or use them as a store of value similar to gold. Cryptocurrencies work using a technology called blockchain. Okay, it's very, very simple. This is just the introduction about crypto, what crypto is. It's a decentralized digital currency. So let's move to the next slide. Cryptocurrency, okay, introduction to blockchain. Blockchain is a decentralized technology spread across many computers that manage and record transactions. Part of the appeal of this technology is its security. When we get to understand as time, which we will get to understand as time does what progresses. Okay, blockchain is just it's a decentralized digital um, technology. Okay, where um, Every transactions, everything that happened, okay, we use blockchain to track record and to keep record of what transactions. Now let's move to the next slide. How it started. In 2008, the idea of Bitcoin was revealed by someone named Satoshi Nakamoto, who published the white paper online. However, it was later revealed that Satoshi Nakamoto was not this person's real name. Even today, 
no one knows the real name of the creator of Bitcoin. But we stick to Satoshi Nakamoto as the founder. Okay, we still have not come to ascertain the original name of this person, but we still stick to that name, Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, next slide. You need to know. These are things that you need to know. Okay, remember I talk about terms. Remember I talk about um, acronyms. Okay, so we're going to be explaining all of this. Now, what is FOMO? Fear of missing out. It's a situation where you hurriedly buy a coin when the price is moving so as not to miss out if it should go higher. Some of you are four victims of this who are into crypto. Um, including me myself when I started early in crypto, <laughs> a coin was booming, going high, 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 high. And guess what? I dived into it so that I would not miss out um, because they say the coin is going, it's going, it's going to reach $1. Then the coin was 80 to 6, right? And um, prediction um, have it that it's going to reach up to $1. And you know, if I buy it then and it enters $1, I'm going to make a lot of profit. So I don't want to miss out. So I dive into the coin. I pump my money in and the coin started going down. Okay, that fear of missing out is bad. So fear of missing out is FOMO. Then the next one is food. Fear, uncertainty, or doubt. Okay, you fear the uncertain. I don't want if I enter now, what will happen? All that, you know, all of that. It is a negative perception of certain cryptocurrencies, a situation where you hurriedly withdraw from a coin due to a feeling that the coin could lose value. You horribly withdraw because maybe you think that the coin, maybe the coin is 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 in deep um, um, situation or in downtrend. So you thought you're gonna lose, and then you horribly um, put out your money. That is why analysis is very important. We'll get to that later. Now, airdrop. Airdrop is a campaign. It's a campaign strategy where a new coin distribute a certain number of coins slash token in order to gain popularity and create a community for instance a new coin is created nobody knows about the coin now the only way for people to start um, diving into that coin is to first of all uh, announce the coin let people know that this coin has potential then start giving a drop about the coin so that people will start um, having the coin in their portfolio okay um, before the, the the coin enters the market Now let's go to the next slide. At all time high. At all time high. The highest amount a coin has attained. Okay, the next one is pumping. An extraordinary huge increase in the price of a cryptocurrency. Just like um, when um um was this coin again that that pump rapidly. Okay. Um Okay, this um, sand, okay, pump rapidly and people dive into it. So, um, most of this kind of um, experience, you can, you we, we usually found, see it on um, um, shit coins, okay, or most coins. Okay, the next one is private key seed, a sort of password or phrase used for protecting and assessing fund in a crypto wallet. In a crypto wallet, okay. Um should be kept safe okay that is um your 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 private key like your your your, your for instance you can see some phrase that they will give to you some some wallet give phrase like 12 phrase um wallet like um trust wallet they will give you 12 phrase for you to keep it safe those are your private keys your password uh your keys that you use to assess okay your your the the general um, wallet. Why that personal or private key is given to you is the one that you, if you lost it, you have lost the coin, okay? So it's a sort of password or phrase used for protecting and assessing fund in a crypto wallet. Should be kept safe. It must be kept safe, okay? NGMI, not gonna make it. Um, a slang used by crypto enthusiasts to emphasize that users could miss out on huge profit on a certain crypto currencies. Now the bullish, the bullish is um, believe that a cryptocurrency will move up in value. 
we've heard about bearish and bullish so this is it now the bullish it means that a coin uh, it is a belief that a, a cryptocurrency will move up in value it means boo to go up when a coin is going up next slide bearish believe that the cryptocurrency will move down in value okay bearish believe that the cryptocurrency will move, move um down in value x 20 any coin built on ethereum is an et like um eroc 20 token okay any coin that is built within blockchain within um ethereum ethereum network is called a 20 why pep 20 any coin built on binance smart chain is a pep 20 bsc token or pep 20 network you say like when you want to send coin to someone you will tell the person i'm using pep 20 okay the person will send you uh, you will send pep 20 to the person why the person will use pep 20 to send that token to you if the person use eroc 20 to send to pep 20 you will lose your money so it must be pep 20 to pep 20 or um eroc 20 to eroc 20 or troc 20 to troc 20 so we'll, we'll explain that later so troc 20 is any coin built on throne network is troc 20 so if you're using troc 20 to send something to person or token to person it must be troc 20 to troc 20 app in to invest in a, in a coin without doing your own research, okay? If you didn't do a research, just because you heard someone said the coin is good and you went ahead and buy. A lot of people have lost money because of that, okay? You must do your own research. Rock pool, a type of attack, attack unique to DeFi, that decentralized finance, where a... Where a Vulnerability to the smart contract is abused and the token value drop to zero. So this coin has been reported. Um, we usually see it on shit coins where a coin will go up and the next thing, one thing, one thing will just happen, have one big attack or the large investors pull out their money with force. You would just say that the coin from up to down, okay, from top to bottom. The team will just come down immediately. It's called Rapport. That one has been Rapport. So, next slide. Digital wallet. A wallet that is used for storage of digital currencies. Usually installed on a PC or mobile app. The digital wallet, okay, examples like Trust Wallet and so. Shitcoin and altcoin that may lose its value because the altcoin itself was not created in good faith or because the price of the coin was based purely on speculation. A screw it means a middleman in a transaction. Deep, I talked about it earlier, a decline in value of a cryptocurrency. Impermanent loss this is when a liquidity provider has a temporary loss of fund because of volatility in the trading pair. Farming. Staking your coin for a particular period of time while you receive reward for doing so, usually on DeFi. Okay, you see um, like the Binance, they will announce coins or token that that will be launched in so-so-so date. Now, if you want to be part of it, you need to stake a particular token, okay? Either with USDT or with BUSD, you stake, okay? Till the day that they will launch that coin. That period of time is called what? Farming. Next slide. Fundamental analysis. This basically, this basically what you should do when asked to DYOR, it means do your own research. DYOR means do your own research. So this is the thing you would do when they say, uh, before you enter into a coin, you do fundamental analysis. It's basically what you should do. Okay, Everybody should know how to do fundamental analysis. You just check, go to apps. We'll talk about that later. 
that will tell you about a coin if the coin is doing well or the coin is not doing well you can go to news you can listen to the coin on platforms okay we'll talk about that later for example you might look at its use cases the amount of people using it or the term behind the project your goal is to reach a conclusion on whether the asset is overvalued or undervalued pepe hand someone who sells easily usually after a slight dip okay it has happened to me when i started my cryptocurrency journey and a lot of people does this just because you don't you don't know the fate of the market and because you are scared now because the coin does go a little deep you don't want to lose the whole of your money you believe that if the coin goes um deeper than that you will lose your money so because of that little dip you don't sell off immediately your mind will be like ah instead of me to lose all it's better i lose them um, small so you will not sell all that, pe that person we call them pepe hand why diamond hand is a patient holder or holder of a coin share to pedal and try to sell a coin with subtle persuasion okay with subtle persuasion okay it's called a diamond hand design slash digit slash digit trader someone who gambles and scrapped through project for quick profit let's go to next slide opportunities we do within crypto space the opportunities within crypto space a person a, um i personally group it into short terms example crypto trading spot trading p2p trading futures trading margin trading um long term example holding staking farming ico slash idol okay the crypto trading the sports trading the p2p trading futures trading all of this we'll talk um later these are opportunities that the crypto space bring to us spot trading you buy you wait when it goes up yourselves okay um p2p trading currency trading okay that is p2p you buy dollar when it's high usdt you sell to people when it's uh, you buy dollar when it's low you sell when it's high okay and futures trading as well and uh, so on next slide crypto holding is a misspelled way of writing holding okay it's just a crypto um, language holding but it's a misspelled way of writing holding which is being adopted in the space it is simply buying a particular coin at the lowest price possible and leaving it for a long period of time with the aim of of um acquiring interest at the end example mr a bought a coin now and leave it for some time without touching it at some time when you hold a coin instead of gaining you lose that is where the importance of analysis comes in sometimes you buy a coin okay instead of you to start making profit in that coin you discover that you you you, you start losing money instead <laughs> you start losing money because you buy you maybe you enter the coin when the coin is at its peak and then you enter the coin the coin, the coin started going down okay instead of you making profit you will be losing so analysis is very fundamental it's a key all right next slide the next one is the next one is just like every other financial market in crypto we have two types of analysis technical analysis ta fundamental analysis okay which is fa fundamental analysis this is basically what you should do when asked to dyor we talked about it earlier for example you might look at its use cases for amount of people using it or the term behind the project your goal is to reach a conclusion on whether the asset is overvalued or undervalued next slide tools we need in um, fundamental analysis are twitter coin gecko um, coin market cap dex tools telegram reddit and any news app you can think of to be carried out practically okay you you can do this practically because um when you download twitter it's simple you you you, you type crypto news okay 
you go to CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, those things are apps that gives you information about cryptocurrencies. It's, it's where you know whether a coin is doing well or not, okay? This, these are the, the apps that help you to do a good fundamental analysis. Trading requirement, tools slash app. What do you need before you start trading? That's what it means. Smartphone, your laptop, apps slash software such as Binance app, Trust Wallet app, or Bundle app, Twitter app, Telegram app, Kuda Bank, okay, etc. Capital, just as every business, the more your capital, the more your return on of investment. Example, that is with the right skill, okay? If you have the right skill, that is only way, if your capital is high, you'll be making more profit. But if you use high capital, you don't have the skill, you will still lose your money. The next one is crypto wallet. A crypto wallet is a tool that allows cryptocurrency owner to store their crypto assets. It also allows them to buy and sell and sometimes trade cryptocurrencies. A crypto wallet typically provides owners with a unique address on a blockchain where you can get a private and public key. Types of wallet, hot wallet and cold wallet. Okay, all of these things we're talking, crypto wallet, we all know about um, um, trust wallet, we all know about um exchange you can trade okay but i'm using trust wallet as instance which, which is the most common okay you can trade there it's just all about you so let's talk about the hot wallet hot wallet cryptocurrency wallets that are functional when connected to the internet are hot wallet for example exchange wallet and other trading app wallet most traders who who conduct multiple multiple daily transactions sorry guys it's raining here so all right so also retail traders who don't have many coins leave their assets packed on an exchange wallet and let's look at the advantages fast access to your crypto coins now, you know the exchange wallet we are talking about, maybe, let's say, Binance for instance, okay? You can, can, you can keep your crypto, um, uh, Binance is an exchange, you can leave your crypto coins there, your cryptocurrency is there, and um, other um, wallets that are connected to the internet can be on your phone, it's an app. At any time, you can easily log in, connect to your cryptocurrencies at any time, okay? That is one thing. So now, the advantage is that you have fast access to your crypto coins can be used from mobile or desktop is beginners friendly option okay it's beginners friendly let's go to the next slide <clears throat> now th these are the disadvantages in case of a hack or malware attack your packed coin are at a greater risk two losing access to the wallet or losing um, mnemonic key means loss of form in case of exchange bridge or hack users may lose their phone okay if if, if 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 you lose your keys you might likely lose your your, your access to your tokens okay if you lo lose the token the keys you can lose your your coins now let's talk about code wallet they are physical electronic devices that let's use for example larger hardware wallet most investors use indicated third party hardware wallet to store their crypto coin okay um those um, wallets are they are they are hardwares okay it's something when you buy a crypto coin you can just transfer the coin to the place drop it it's, it's like a device a physical a tangible device okay it's an electronic tangible device where you store um let me say like you know um uh this your what are they calling it again um this um like that like usb okay like where you copy 
file or take something okay it's a tangible something you can keep it anytime you need it you can connect it back to internet to assess the file or information you store on that uh, uh, on that um, device so it's an hardware device okay where you store things okay now these are the advantages the advantages is that in hardware wallet cryptocurrencies are stored offline therefore the risk of hacking is minimal code wallet can store many different kinds of coins and it also in, in, ensures better protection of sensitive information okay now look at the disadvantages also expensive okay hardware wallet can be expensive you can buy it cost but for the um for the the, the hot one is just you can just in, install them on your phone okay you can just install them and start saving anything you don't need to buy any anything but in hardware you, you will buy it so it can be expensive when trading or selling crypto coin this have to be connected to the internet because it's always offline just imagine usb before you take a coin from um you want to sell a coin you save at such device you need to connect it first to the internet copy it then before you could be able to to sell next slide okay sending and receiving crypto assets i think i will be doing this live okay this is gonna be done practically okay how do you send for for instance just like i talked um, talked earlier we you use p2p and send to another p2p um, address okay why right? or you use um um drone trc network send to another um coin that is that, that's using trc network trc to trc okay pep 20 to pep 20 okay stops like that you send and then you receive it's very simple okay next slide crypto signals Crypto signals are a set of infrastructure sent out from a signal provider, okay, for instance, let me just say me, in this case, to an individual telling them that cryptocurrency, telling them what cryptocurrency to buy, the price to buy at, what proportion of their portfolio they should invest, what leverage they should, they must use, and at what price to set, okay? In our um in our telegram we drop daily signals for both our premium we have a premium um, um members and then we also have a free um, members in our telegram but either ways we drop signals on both so you can join our telegram and then be getting signals for yourself why we teach you more on especially we drop signals on futures trading spot trading holdings okay and and more all right, this is just the end for this uh, intro and the basic things that you need to know about um, um, cryptocurrencies, okay? The terms, the acronyms, and um, this is just, this will be it for you. For, for, this will be it, guys, for now. Thank you very much. Please, if it's your first time dropping by to my channel, do want to smash the subscribe button down below, turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever I drop quality content such as this, and subsequently, we're dropping um good content that's gonna help you thanks guys for watching